for our meditation today, because we've been reviewing shamatha, I thought it would be good to do shamatha using a different focal object than the breath. It actually can be very useful to use a mental image or to use the mind itself. So today we'll do using a mental image and we'll do a series of concentrated shorts. So what you'll do is bring up to the mind the image of Shakyamuni Buddha, and then hold your attention on it in your mind's eye with steadiness. And it said it's very auspicious as well as very efficient to use a virtuous object rather than a neutral object like the moon or a candle and rather than an attachment object like your partner or whatever. Even though those images you can also develop a lot of concentration on the basis of, if you use a virtuous image, in the background of your mind you're developing positive associations and accumulating familiarity and merit. So it's a really productive way to develop single-pointed concentration. So if you don't feel comfortable using the image of a Buddha, I'll put the Buddha image on the screen, but you can just shift it to a simplified version of a circle of golden light, or you could put a simple virtuous image in the center of that, maybe even, I don't know, the shape of a heart or a peace sign or whatever. But the point is, is that it's something that you've seen visually with your actual eyes, but during the meditation you close your eyes and bring it to your mind's eye and hold it there. Sometimes it will be clear, sometimes it will be still, sometimes it won't be, and that's fine. You just keep bringing your focus back to your mental intention to hold your attention there on that mental image. So we'll do a series of shorts, which means that you'll generate the image, hold your focus on the image, and stay there for 30 seconds to a minute. And then I'll hit the bell, and then you'll refresh your attention. Just, you know, look up at the light, have a little sip of water, stretch for a second, and then go straight back into meditation. And then we'll do like one minute, and then two minutes. And we'll stretch it to three minutes. But it's very unlikely that you're going to be able to hold your concentration perfectly for longer than three minutes at this stage in your development. If you can, that's fantastic. But it's actually better to do this gradual approach where you're stretching your ability a bit like training a muscle. So that's what we'll do for this meditation, and it's to develop shine, calm abiding, serenity, shamatha. So just take a minute and get yourself into a posture that feels very stable. It's important to train the back to try not to rely on the wall or the chair. But if it does, to still sit in a way that you're straight up and down so that the energy system flows smoothly. And it's as if you're witnessing your own physical stillness in order to bring more quiet to the mind. So just start with posture. And now shift the mind to reviving your positive motivation, altruistic, expansive, for the benefit of both yourself and others, for both today and the future.
And now, in order to let surface distractions settle, shift your focus to the breath, just two minutes. And now shift to visualization. You can start by actually visually looking. Bring to mind the image of Shakyamuni Buddha, golden in color, one face, two arms, sitting in the meditation posture, all the various details. Implicit or imbued with this image is your own potential, the qualities you have and aspire to develop, your outer refuge and your inner refuge. So look at the image with your eyes and as it becomes clearer, close your eyes and bring it to your mind's eye and stabilize your focus on it. Thirty seconds. As stably and as sharply focused as you can be without becoming tense or stressed. And briefly relax your attention. Look up at some light. Stretch if you need to. Have a sip of water. And then with the sound of the bell, bring the image back holding it in your mind's eye, only looking at the screen if you need to clarify details. But mostly this is an inner process. One minute.
and relax your attention. Quick refresh, stretch, light, blink, settle your posture, and back to the meditation. Two minutes. And relax your attention. Short break. Blink. Change your position if you need to. And straight back into meditation.
can relax your attention. Short break. And straight back in. and relax your attention. And now for this last round, see if you can hold the sharpest attention possible, steady, still, without squeezing or tensing the mind, but just for 10 seconds. So just for a count of 10, see if you can hold the image and stabilize on it in your mind's eye. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. And so now dedicate the merit of this practice to achieving single-pointed concentration, shine, shamatha, in order to unify that with special insight, realizing the emptiness of inherent existence. And with those two unified, cutting the root of samsara, going on to achieve liberation. And may all of this momentum lead even further 
to full enlightenment for the benefit of all sentient beings. Okay, so see you next week.